Good morning. Pastor Sean here on Friday, October 15th with your morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our text for today is Matthew 13, verses 1 through 23. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the, beside the sea, and great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood on the beach, and he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on the rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depths of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil, and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Then his disciples came to him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance, but from the one who has not, not even, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, uh, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, and that says, You will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears, uh, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes have been, uh, they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your, your ears, for they hear. Truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what is sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is what one hears, um, who hears the word and immediately uh, receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it perverts, provide, <laughs> proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, in another thirty. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these, these last days, <clears throat> excuse me, he has spoken to us by his son. Got a tickle in my throat today. All right, so this is our, um, <laughs> this comes up every year. Um, actually, I'm, it might even, no, it doesn't come up in the preaching every year, I don't think. Anyway, um, so the, the parable of the sower, which um, I have talked about many times in, in sermons and in, uh, morning prayer videos, uh, many, 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 many times. And um, usually I point out how um, the the incorrect approach to this text would be to look at the different kinds of um, soil or where the seeds end up and then saying like, okay, so which, which should you be? You know, do you want to be um, the path, uh, the rocky ground, the um, thorns, or the good soil? You know, because if God is, is sowing the seeds, you want your heart to be good soil, so that way you can receive the, the preaching of the word, his his word, and, and have a place where it can be planted and, and grow, and bear much fruit. 
But of course, um, that is placing us at the center of all things, <laughs> as we so like to do. So, um, you know, this text is is not so much, um, you know, saying, well, what are you going to be? You know, what, what kind of heart are you going to have? But rather, look at the Word of God, and this is how it works. Okay, this is how God operates. And so when we turn it around and look at it that way, what you see is is God is sowing his his word. He's he has, you know, the the, the gospel, you know, the, the good news of our salvation. And he, he sows it and he just does it sort of willy nilly. Well not willy nilly, he does it in just he throws it everywhere. It's it's um in in, in your head you think, you know, a, a guy who's sowing seed is is gonna be very careful, you know, and place it exactly where it should go for the best results. But Clearly, in, in the parable here, God is not like that. He just kind of takes all the seed and throws it up in the air and is so excited and just like, woo, and then it falls. And um, and so, yeah, some of it falls on where it's not going to grow at all. Some of it falls where there's some growth, but then it, it uh, dies. Some falls in the thorns where it just gets choked right away. But, of course, some of it does fall where it is received, where it is... Um, uh, treasured and and it, it prospers and grows so it's very much kind of a um what do i want to say a kind of a god works in mysterious ways kind of thing the ways of god are are um confusing to us sometimes you know why would god do that you know god could you know and should be very careful with what he does and precise and exact. I mean, he's God, right? We expect him to be perfect in, in every way, but this is a very, in our eyes, imperfect way of, of spreading the word. He just throws it out all over the place. Um, but there is this reality here where, yes, you know, God spreads his, his gospel and his love and his grace over everyone, over the whole world. And yet the reality is that some people will not receive it, no matter what. Some people simply will choose over and over again to reject this. Some people will receive it, but not be grounded in it. And so they will quickly lose faith um, when when trouble comes. And some people certainly will receive it and, and be blessed by it. So this is kind of where it's going with that. Now, usually that's kind of where I end it. But, um, you know, you could take this a step further and... Um, and see how this also operates or should be the way we operate when using the things of God. So let's say, um, you know, when we use his forgiveness to, to apply to others, to, to, um, that we, or, or his love or his whatever, you know, we, we receive these abundant blessings from God. You know, he loves us and that love is so abundant that it, 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 it fills our cup and is overflowing so that we might use that love to love others, right? So when we go out and we love others, when we go out and we forgive others their sins, this is us taking the gifts of God and reusing them, right? Okay. So then, um, if this is the way that God throws his, his word around, that God blesses us with his gospel, then surely this is the way, um, he uses with his love and forgiveness. Yes, he, he forgives everyone. He doesn't just forgive those who, you know, Jesus doesn't go to the cross and say, well, only those who are really sorry for their sins are going to get this. No, he dies for the sins of the world. So if we go out to love people, forgive people, then we shouldn't, if we're going to follow this pattern, <laughs> then we shouldn't just look at somebody and say, well, you're deserving of this, so I'm going to forgive you. You know, you've, you've made amends. You've done all the right things, so I'm going to forgive you. Um, no, we should we should sow our love and, and grace and mercy and forgiveness just as willy-nilly style as God does with his word. Um, not caring who it's going to land on, not caring if the person who received, who is the recipient of our love and forgiveness is worthy of it or has um, done enough to deserve it. Uh, no, we just we just throw it all out there, and some will receive it, and it'll be great. Some will just flat out reject it. Okay, um, but that's the point. We we don't we we don't worry about the results. That's up to God. Results are up to God. Um, we simply just walk in His footsteps, and we are um, very uncareful <laughs> in in how we sow the things of God. Um, very imprecise 
not that our, 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 our ideas or words should be imprecise, but just the, the abundance in which we um, share with others should be uh, just like this. Just throw it all out there and, uh, and trust that God will bring the, the result that he, he desires. And don't, don't, don't you get bogged down in what the result is. Because, again, that's up to God. All right. There we go. Well, let us pray. O oh Lord, heaven, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. All right. Thank you very much for joining me today. hope this is a blessing to you. Um, let see. It's Friday, so... Hope this week has gone well, and uh, you have a wonderful Friday, and until tomorrow, peace be with you. <laughs>